The thing about art is it doesn't have to be passive. Take the Toki wall as an example. The construction itself had a story. Each piece of concrete was lifted by a crane from a flatbed truck onto the ground below. The artist, John Toki, orchestrated the assembly while the operator carefully lowered the items against the frame next to a busy sidewalk. I was amazed that some of the people walking by never looked up. They seemed too busy with their lives. Myself, on the other hand, was drawn to the puzzle, waiting for the next piece. Something was happening in downtown Davis, and it was being built between PDQ fingerprinting and Dimple Records. The sign in the window read, Music, Movies, and Games. Maybe we should have updated the sign to include an arrow pointing to the interactive transmedia art project next door. Everyone has a story to tell if you take the time to stop, pause, and listen. Our interactive sculpture stepped onto the stage in Davis and is waiting for a response from the public. What's your name? I'm Pat. Cool, my name's Monto. I'm uh, Monto, nice to meet you Monto. Thank you. I'm always down Pat. The metal X plate was being placed behind Bob Marley and the Beatles. I wonder what kind of music they would have played off the interactive wall. It's not too late to leave a message. John Toki's sculpture lies at the interface between the old and new media. A vision from the past is resurfaced in another town. It stands silently waiting for a response. Leave a message, burn an impression, the issue is sharing experiences. They ought to have an interactive art and poetry show. Oh, let's do it. Give people a chance to actually uh -huh. talk to one another That's instead of their good. cell phones and yeah. their computers. My name is John Toki. I'm at 216 PDQ. F, F Street. F Street. Downtown Davis. Downtown Davis, California. The sculpture was a uh, about 20 years old, it's titled Blue Turns, and it was designed to create an energy that was kind of more circulating, moving. My inspiration is abstract art. I live near the bay, San Francisco Bay, and so the blue colors are uh, inspirational to the uh, sculpture. And the scale is really important that it has, it has a commanding effect on the viewer. Where, where has this been placed before? So this has been placed uh, once at the Berkeley Art Center in an abstract show with Mary O'Neill and uh, at the uh, Paradise Ridge Sculpture Garden in Santa Rosa. And so this is only, I believe, the third time it has been exhibited in 20 years. Great. So I'm happy to be in Davis with John Nazulis. Nice. Nice fish. Nice fish. So the chip here is going to be glued to my sculpture. And this is how you, if I'm correct, access your uh, it's a portal and uh, really a doorway to another world that they can leave messages and videos. So, to make a long story short, this is how you access technology on this little black dot. How's that? Fantastic. You're um, shooting video of uh, John Tokyo right now and you need to reach that device.